I'm doing a video on toilet training today, toilet training dogs or puppies, one which is slightly unusual and it's answering a question that somebody's asked in a comment on, on YouTube. Um, it's slightly unusual but I suppose quite a lot of people might be in the situation where they can't get outside with the dog or the puppy to train him or to take him to the toilet. So if, if they live, I know, on the 40th floor of a skyscraper or if they've got some kind of disability that means they're not as able to get outside as, as other people are, then they've got no choice but to t toilet train the dog indoors. And the question was asked, how would I go about that? So what I would do personally is I'd still have a cage for the dog and I'd still keep the puppy in the cage. And um, what I would do is let the dog out to go to the toilet every roughly 20 minutes at, the fir at first and then gradually build that, that time distance apart. I would take water away from the dog um, early in the evening which I forgot to mention in my first video that's what I used to do at about half past seven um, just so that going through the night the dog's bladder isn't still full of uh, water or wee. What I would also do if I was training the dog to go indoors is like I had a designated place outside I would have a designated place inside the house or the flat or whatever it is that you live um, in this instance I would use toilet training pads or puppy pads whatever you want to call them I know I don't like to use them because I always say that they're teaching a dog to wee inside but that's exactly what we want to do this time but what we do want to do is teach a dog that it does it on the pad so what I would also buy is sort of uh, I think they're called a pen where it's um, similar to a cage except there's no sort of lid on it it's like a, uh, a play kind of pen that you can leave a dog in in the day with a load of toys. I'd make it quite small. I'd put it as far away from the cage as possible, maybe near the door if you're able to get towards the door in the future when the dog's older. And I'd put the pad in there, no toys, nothing else. And I'd, I'd do exactly the same thing as I, I did with Fern and with other dogs. Every 20 minutes, I'd pick the puppy out of the, uh, the cage. I'd not talk to them and not interact with them and not play with them or anything. I'd just pick them up, I'd put them down in the pen with a puppy pad in it and I just completely ignore them um, I'd always praise the eye contact which I've, I've always done uh, but you don't need to do any worrying about uh, encouraging the dog to be around you like as in my uh, my other toilet training video so leave the dog down completely ignore the dog but keep an eye on it wait for that sniffing behavior that that indicates that he's going to start having a wee and although you're waiting for that, don't react to the, the sniffing. What you want to do though, as soon as the dog starts uh, the pooing or the weeing, then you start praising that. And in this instance, I would recommend using the word definitely, uh, toilet or busy busy or clean or empty or muck, whatever it is that you want to use. And say it only when the dog is actually doing it and say it over and over again, over and over again. So that the dog associates what he's doing with your command. So. Don't just say busy, busy, and that's it. Whilst they're still doing it, you say busy, 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 not you, not you. Um, and, you and you repeat it and you're drumming it into the puppy's head. And then as soon as he's done it, take him out there and really, really, really reward him and play with him and get him really excited and let him know that excitement has been generated by him doing that, that wee or the poo in the cage. Don't clean up first and then go back to play with him. You've got to got to do it the second he's finished you've got to make such a fuss that he's, he's so keen to get back in there and do, do another wee um, if he does the wee whilst he's in the house not in the designated area the way I'd behave, behave there or handle that is I'd give a firm no really firmly pick him up not interact with him carry him to the pen put him down in there and then just completely ignore him again and wait till he does it so you don't really want to be telling the, the, the dog off as such, but you just need to let him know that that's displeasing you do it there and take him straight away to the place where we should do it and hopefully he'll learn. I won't do it there, I'll do it there because that's the place. If I do it over there, I get told off or dis displeasure from mum. And if I do it in the pen, then, then she's really happy about that. And I, I would keep it as a, a pen for a good few months. Um, what I do with the dogs, with these dogs, 
is at the same time I teach them that every time they want to go through a door they have to sit so that door doesn't open until the dog forms on the floor and the dogs will learn then to tell me to indicate to me that they want to go through that door and outside for a wee and what you want to build up to is having the dog um, indicate to you somehow that he needs a wee or needs a poo so he could be sitting or pouring at his cage or whatever so you've got to really keep an eye on that but for a good few months keep that pen there even though you think he's learned that he only goes in that pen don't test him make sure that, that you're really really confident and that, that comes over months and months not a few weeks or not a day or not a week and you've got to be really confident that he's, he's really learned that and wait till the indication starts wait till he starts indicating to you that I need to get in there to have a wee and then once that's happened you can um, you can take the pen away you can maybe leave the pen there but open it up at start at first because he'll he won't be just learning that he needs to be on the pad he'll be learning that he needs to wee in the pen as well as on the pad so if you take the, the pen away completely he might think oh no what do I do now where do I go so then you might find that he's weeing under furniture or something so not to get you displeased um, if he does it in the house and you don't see it never punish that you only you can only react to what you see happening in that one second if for example you go out of the room and he does it and you come into the room and you see a wee on the floor and you punish that the dog's going to associate you coming in the room to him getting told off and you don't want that so never punish what you haven't seen um, what you might want to do at night time I wouldn't advise it but it might suit your situation is have the pen opening into the cage so that later down the line if the puppy needs a wee at night he can come out of his cage into the pen I wouldn't advise that but it might work in your situation what you want to do is keep the toilet in in one specific area so hope that answers your questions hope that's helpful I hope it helps you in your situation and uh, if it if it does let me know if it doesn't let me know and then we can see if we can work on other little solutions to, to get around it uh, so keep in touch let me know how we get on thank you for watching me and fern please give us a subscribe a like a share and comment below with anything you've got for us